Hey, and welcome to video number 11. We're going to talk about how you can automate your payment delivery system by using PayPal. And congratulations again, you're at the end of this video series. So you should be ready to rock and roll. Now, what I want to do is just briefly talk about the process here. First, we're going to create a PayPal button that will connect your sales letter, your index.html file to your thank you page, whatever that might be. And then we're gonna take the PayPal button that PayPal gives you at that point, and we're gonna add the custom button to your sales letter, which is your index.html file, and we're gonna upload the files, and that's it. It's really that easy. So let's go ahead and go to paypal.com. So when you log into your PayPal account, you click on merchant services, and then you'll want to click on create payment buttons for your website. Now, PayPal has obviously updated their user interface. However, if it changes, just find the button that says create a payment button for your website. If you click on that, it's a three-step process, very, very easy to do. So the first thing you'll wanna do is to choose the button type. So you can have shopping cart, buy now, donations, subscriptions, and so forth. Now, since our product is just, in this example, is just a one-time report, and it's not a subscription, we're just simply gonna click on buy now. Now, if you had a different business model, like a monthly site, you would click on subscriptions. But for simplicity, I'm gonna be choose buy now. And for the item name, I'm just gonna call it, you know, cat training port. And then you price it. And we don't need any of these. You can customize it if you want to. And you can see the cool thing is if you do press that, then you can customize it. However, we don't need a bunch of menus or anything like that. Um, you can also customize the text or appearance here, but we're just gonna keep it simple. So I'm gonna leave it the default button. And after that, if we click on track inventory, we don't really have much here because we're dealing with an intangible report. So I'm gonna click on Customize Advanced Features. And this is the place where you want to enter your thank you page URL. So if I'm at this step, it says, do you wanna let your customer change order quantities? No, because I only have a report. Can your customer add special instructions to you? You can do that if you want them to be able to do that. I don't really want to. Do you need your customer's shipping address? No, I do not need that information. And it says take customers to this URL if they cancel the checkout. If they do that, I could send them to you know, my sales page, whatever that might be. So you'll want to put your www.yourdomain.com, whatever that might be, or to your sales page. And then it says take your customers to this URL when they finish the checkout. So basically your download page or your thank you page. So you need to have the URL for that specific page. So if we, you know, your domain dot slash dot com slash thank you page dot HTML, whatever that, that your thank you page is, enter that here. Once you're done with that, simply click on create button. And that's it, we've created your customized PayPal button. Now you're gonna give, it's gonna give you two different options. You can either enter the PayPal button as it is, or let's say you have a buy button picture, then you can actually turn that buy button into you know, a clickable buy it now button. So for example, as you can see here at this, with this cat report, there is a order now button. So what I wanna do now is simply create, turn this into a link. Now, 
I'm going to show you how to do it two different ways, just in case you have two different, if you have a button or if you don't have a button, so you know, know which route to take. So let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Um, if I go here and I click on sales letter and then I click on index.html, I'm going to open that with composer and I'm going to go ahead and edit that. The first thing I'm going to show you is how to take an existing buy now button like I showed you earlier and how to make it clickable. So to do that, all I have to do is scroll down and find the buy now button. So if I click on this and click on link and make sure the link is chosen, paste the link and click OK. Click don't use alternate text, click OK, click save. And if I go back over here and I refresh the page, then you will notice that it is clickable. So if I click on this, it'll go to PayPal. Now, I'm just looking at this on my file manager. So in order to make this live, I need to upload that specific file by FTP and override this specific file. So to do that, I would just simply go here, drag and drop it over here, and then we would overwrite the existing file. Now, if you were to take the different avenue where you wanted to create a buy button on that page, then you would copy this code. So right click and copy. And then you would go to Composer. And let's say we'll just take this out. The easiest way to go about doing this without having to know HTML is simply by putting some sort of variable or some sort of code. So like one, one of the ones that I use is just one, two, three, we'll just say one, two, th one, two, three, three, two, one. And then I'll click on source code and you're gonna look for that code. So let's see, you can edit, find, one, two, three, three, two, one, and go here. And basically, since we already copied from PayPal, I'm gonna right click on that and paste, and you're gonna see the code has been copied here. So if I click on save here, you'll see that the buy button is here. Now I might need to center that. So if I go back over here, you can do that as well. So you can highlight it, and center it and that's it and you can do the same thing here to upload the file here through FTP and just make sure you, you upload the file so that it is live and the changes that are made are live and that's it